the real reasons behind the coup of July 5th. Turkey, like other Middle East countries, has been on the receiving end of foreign and domestic interventions following plans made 150 years ago. The creators of these plans don't want a strong and stable Turkey or for Turkey to have warm relations with its Muslim brothers and sisters in the Middle East. These dark circles are bothered by the fact that we are building bonds of love with our brothers. They don't wish to see Muslims cooperate to end the wars in the Middle East and seek to weaken Turkey with coups or plans of occupation and civil war. They wish to turn Turkey into Syria or Iraq. July 15, 2016 was a historical day for Turkey. A group that infiltrated the army attempted a coup to overthrow the elected government. Coups always bring pain and suffering. However, this coup attempt showcased a level of tyranny that is incomprehensible. Turkish people witnessed unimaginable atrocities. Tanks ran over civilians, helicopters fired at people. The Turkish parliament was bombed and unarmed people with no power were shot in the head. This monstrosity that the Turkish soldier would never do was the work of a group that infiltrated the Turkish army. Our people repelled this attack in unity with our police and soldiers and foiled the plot against our country. Articles published in recent years, especially in the British and U.S. media, favoring a military coup in Turkey, so-called maps showing how Turkey is divided by the PKK, or absurd claims that Alawites and Sunnis will clash, although they've been harmoniously living together for the past 1,000 years in Anatolia, are only a few of the examples showing how intact these plans are. One recent example is the article entitled, Can There Be a Coup in Turkey? Interestingly, this article laid out a scenario where President Erdogan was toppled and speculated about the aftermath. We showed one more time with our recent legendary resistance that we will never allow any conspiracies or plots to divide Turkey and that Turkish people will all together fight back against any coup attempts. It was clearly shown one more time that the top priority of the Turkish people is protecting their country and that they are fearless with their faith in God and will bravely fight to prevent any danger to our country, be it a coup or an occupation. After the failed coup attempt, political parties with opposing views staged joint rallies. Those who held opposing views up until then stood hand in hand as defiant centuries for democracy and our nation. This incident has been a test for the Turkish people. They gave a perfect lesson of bravery and virtue to the entire world. Their loyalty, nobility, and common sense gained the appreciation of everyone as it became crystal clear that we have a very faithful, reliable, conscientious, and courageous youth. By the grace of God, the Turkish nation will continue to give important messages. As Turkey continues to be an example with its brotherhood and selfless character, it will maintain its position as the champion of humanitarian causes and will lead the world with its love as a modern, civilized, refined, and sophisticated country cherishing its diversity.
Thank you.